Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about quadratic equation in programming language. So first I am going to discuss about what quadratic equation is. So I know the standard form of quadratic equation is uh, uh, this one. fx ax, ax square plus bx plus c. So here we have to enter a, b, c value. So add here a. So I am going to enter a value 1 and b value minus 5 and or c value I am going to enter 4 so here a value is 1 1 into x square the value come x square and uh, here plus b value is now I enter minus 5 into x and c value I enter 4 so add here plus and minus the value come minus So x square the value of minus 5x so 4 equal to 0. So this is one quadratic equation. And here one important point is a not equal to 0. Suppose if I given a equal to 0. So add your 0 into x square the value come or 0 and your plus minus of 5x the value come suppose add your a value is 0 b value is minus of 5 c equal to 4 so quadratic equation looks like minus 5x plus 4 so this is not a quadratic equation so add your a not equal to 0 so suppose this is the example so add your we have to find out the value of x1 and x2 so this is the basic formula so add here minus 5 so b value is now 5 oh sorry minus 5 so add here minus 5 so first is b value is now minus 5 and here one more minus plus So add your a square root of b a square. So minus into minus 5 into minus 5 the value come 25. So one important point is plus into minus the value come minus minus into or plus the value come minus. And your minus into minus the value come plus and your plus into plus the value come plus so add here minus 5 into minus 5 b square means minus 5 into minus 5 the value come or 25 minus 4 a c so a value is 1 and or 4 c value is 4 so 4 into or 4 the value come 16 so that divided by or 2a. So a value is now 1. 2 into 1 the value come 2. So add here minus, in, minus into minus the value come plus. So add here the value is 5. And uh, here you can write plus and minus. So I am going to take this value also. So add here 25 minus 16 the value come 9. And the square root of 9. In 10th class, we study about a square root, the value come 3. So, this value is now 3, and here after 2. So, one time 5 plus 3, and next time 5 minus 3. So, 5 plus 3, the value come 8. So, 8 by 2, and next time 5 minus 3, the value come 2, 2 by 2. So, 8 by 2, the value come 4, and 2 by 2, the value come 1. So the output get 4 and 1. So this is about to quadratic equation. Next I am going to write a programming code of a quadratic equation. So let's see. So this is the quadratic equation program that I already written in a code block. So 
So until I'm going to execute the program. So until I'm going to enter a value one, b value minus five, c value four. So until I'm getting the output root of quadratic equation of four and one. Suppose so this time I'm going to enter a value one, b value minus four and c value 4. So at here, um, both roots are equal and roots of quadratic equation is 2. So next uh, I will discuss about the trend method of this program. Next I am going to discuss about the trend method of this program. So if you do the code, control comes to main function. Here after that coincides. So at here, I have taken integer variable a, b, c, d, x1, x2. So first integer variable a here after b or c d x1 x2. Now here after control comes to cr function. So what do we double code that display into the output screen enter a b c of quadratic equation and whatever I'm going to enter so that received by a b c. So right here, I'm going to enter a value 1, b value minus 5, and or c value 4. Here after control comes to this point, d equal to b into b. So b value is uh, minus 5, minus 5 into minus 5, the value comes 25. So I right here, at one point, I'm going to discuss minus into minus equal to plus. Here after minus into plus the value come minus here plus into minus the value come minus here after plus into plus the value come plus so I have minus 5 into minus 5 the value come 25 so this value is 25 and here minus 4 AC. So A value is 1, C value is 4. So 4 into 1 into 4, the value comes 16. So 25 minus 16, the value comes 9. So 9 equal to D. So right here, 9 here. Now if D less than equal to 0, so 9 less than equal to 0, condition is not to not coincide. Here, as a part, if D double equal to 0, so 9 double equal to 0, condition is not to not coincide. As part, here is your function, so this or display into the output screen, roots are real number, here x1 equal to minus b. So b value is minus b, and here that one more minus, so minus into minus, here the value come plus. So b value is 5, here plus s square to d, so d value is or is c value here 9, so s square root S square t function d so d receive 9 so s square t full form is s square root so whatever the value come so that do s square root so right here the square root of 9 is 3 so the here the value come 3 so 5 plus 3 divided by 2 into a so 2 a value 1 2 into 1 the value come 2 so right here 5 plus 3 8 8 by 2 the value come 4 so 4 go to x1 at here 4 come now x2 equal to minus b so b value is minus 5 minus 5 that multiply by minus so that become or plus 5 here minus t so s square t of d so d value is received 9 so s square, s square root of 9 the value come 3 so 5 minus 3 divided by 2 into a value 1 so the value come 2 here after 5 minus 3 the value come 2 2 by 2 the value come 1 so 1 go to x2 here after c out function so root of quadratic equation or x1 value 4 and x2 value 1 so the output come root of quadratic equation or 4 and 1 and here after that out from main function so this time as part or true so that should or did uh, all this operation suppose if d equal to 0 
So at what case the D value is zero? Uh, suppose if I enter D value four. So four into four, the value comes sixteen. Sixteen. So at here I'm going to enter D value four. You can enter minus four. Here four, no any matter. So minus of uh, four here, minus four into minus four, minus four AC. So A value is one, C value is of uh, four. So at here minus into minus, the value comes plus. So this value is sixteen. Minus four into one into four, the value comes sixteen. So at here zero comes sixteen minus sixteen, D value is zero. So this case D value is zero. So D value is zero now. Here after if D less than equal to zero, so this condition is so or not true. So here as a point D double equal to zero, condition is true. So this time that coincide. So at here. Uh, C out function, so both roots are equal here x1 equal to minus b. So minus uh, b value I enter minus 4. So minus into minus the value come 4 divided by 2 into a value 1. 2. So at your 4 by 2 the value come 2. So at your C out function, so this or display into the output scheme. Root of quadratic equation is the value of x1. So x1 value is 2, so 2 display. Output come root of quadratic equation is true. So this time, uh, this part as a part true, so that not go to as part. And hereafter that out for main function. So next time you should try to enter make d value negative. So if the d value is negative, then that coincide and do further operation. And uh, one more thing, next time you should try to enter a value or anything like uh, 4, b value minus 4, and c value 4. And just do the same try and method. So definitely you will get the expected output. So now in this video, it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week.